Hello guys, welcome to this new video. So today in this video, I would like to show you a very easy and simple way of applying a skin smooth effect onto your footage all inside Adobe Premiere Pro without using any third party plugins or whatsoever. Using this method, you can turn your footage from looking like this to something like this. Although this isn't a professional technique and I wouldn't recommend it for professional use, but if you haven't access to expensive plugins like Cosmo from Magic Bullet or Beauty Box, in that case, this method may come in handy. Hello guys, my name is Shubhudi Mondol. I'm an independent filmmaker and an equally passionate guitarist. I make short films, music videos, photo and video editing tutorials, just like this one, as well as detailed guitar tutorial videos on this channel. So if you're new here and are interested in any of these topics, then please consider subscribing by clicking on the big red subscribe button down there. And also click the bell icon next to it to turn on notifications so that you don't miss any update whenever I upload a new video. So getting all those things out of the way, let's get started with the video. So here I have already opened up Premiere Pro and I have already placed my footage here that I have exclusively shot for this tutorial only. So you can see this is how the footage looks without using any skin smooth effect onto it. Okay, so now we will see how to apply a skin smooth effect all inside Adobe Premiere Pro using the Lumetri color panel. So here I have a workspace dedicated for color work. So you can see that I don't have any kind of effects applied to this clip right at this moment. So to apply the skin smooth effect, what you have to do is click on this clip to open up its corresponding Lumetri color panel and then directly go to the HSL secondary tab click on it and it will open up the panel. Now you need to understand the concept. What we will do here is we'll select the skin color only with the help of the HSL secondary tools. So to do that, all you have to do is take this color picker tool and click on the skin tone. By clicking on it, you can see that we have a selection, but you can't see that. To see that, all you need to do is click on this checkbox where it says color over gray. So by clicking on it, you can see the actual selection that you have selected. Now you can see the selection is not that good. So we have to add some more colors to it. To do that, you can take this color picker with the plus symbol and drag over your skin to select more of this skin. Okay. And to refine the skin selection even more, you can do it manually as well. So to do that, I would decrease the color area so that only the skin tone is selected. I would like to increase the saturation area to select more of the skin and also the lightness. And you can even fade the selection as well. Okay, so to me, this is looking a pretty good selection. But notice that with the skin, we also have some other elements selected that we don't want in this selection. And as you know that this is a static shot. So what we can do to restrict the selection is we can create a mask. And to create a mask, we'll have to click on this icon and it will create a mask. Okay. And what the mask is doing is it's only affecting the area inside the mask. You can even invert the mask to affect the area outside of the mask. But in this case, we want it to affect the inside area. Now let's resize the mask to our need. And we can also feather the mask a bit. Okay, so now you can see we are only affecting the skin colors only. But you may notice here are some kind of dancing noise and these are not good for a selection. So to rectify that, you can introduce a little bit of denoise. Around 50 is good and also a little bit of blur. 15 would be good to smooth out the selection. Now you can see we have a pretty decent selection. Now you can turn off this and also click on the Lumetri color to hide the mask. Okay, now as the skin is selected, now whatever you will do over here will only affect the selection area. Okay, as you can see here, but we don't want to change the color, but smooth out the skin. So to do that, all you need to do is you just need to come over here on this sharpen slider. If you increase this, the sharpness will increase. But if you decrease the sharpness, the skin will be blurred and the skin will look smooth. So without the effect, it looks like something like this. And with the effect, you can see there is a little bit of 
skin smoothening going on. If we make it 100% then you can see it properly. By turning off the effect you can see the skin is not that smooth and if you turn on this effect then you can see the skin is looking a bit smooth. Okay, so this is the first step. To effectively use this technique, you need to be very careful about your skin selection. Make sure not to select anything apart from the skin. For example, you wouldn't want to uh, select the eyes or the eyebrows because that will soften up the whole image and you wouldn't want that. So make sure your skin selection is only constrained to the skin only and when you are reducing the sharpness or in other words, when you are blurring out the image, it's only applying on the skin tones and not on the whole image. And now we can make it even better. But before moving on with that, I would like to tell you about Skillshare. If you are passionate about anything like photo editing, video editing, photography, videography or writing, filmmaking or anything else, you may consider joining Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community having lots of classes on various topics. You'll find step-by-step -step tutorials on any topic you may be interested in. And by subscribing, you'll get unlimited access to all the content they have available on their platform. So if you're really passionate about something, then definitely join Skillshare and start learning from the comfort of your home. I'll put a link in the video description as well. And if you click on that link and join Skillshare today, you will get two months of premium access to Skillshare for absolutely free. So definitely check that out as well. But remember this offer is valid only for the first 500 persons who joins through my link. So hurry up and get your two months of free access. Another thing is if you want to start a YouTube channel, you want to create your own videos, but you are an absolutely beginner on this and are very confused on which camera to buy or which microphone or lights to go for, then you can check out my Amazon Influencer Storefront as well. Here I have curated a list of all the necessary gears and equipment you may need to start a YouTube channel. If you are an absolute beginner or an intermediate, you may find something useful according to your need and budget. So definitely check that out. I'll put a link in the video description to that as well. And now let's get back to our tutorial. So here what we have done till now is uh, we have selected the skin with the Lumetri color panels HSL secondary tab and then just reduce the sharpness for the skin tones. Now to enhance this effect what you can do is you can create another copy of this clip and to do that all you need to do is hold down alter option and click and drag the clip on top of it. By doing that you have just duplicated the footage over itself. So the first thing that you need to do on this clip is delete the previous Lumetri color effect. Now click on this clip and come to its basic correction tab and decrease the saturation all the way to zero and make it a black and white clip. Now come to your effects browser and find the Gaussian blur effect. Take the Gaussian blur effect and drag that effect on top of this clip. Now turn on this repeat edge pixels checkbox and crank up the Gaussian blur effect to around 35. So what we have done here is we have created a duplicate footage and placed it on top of itself and then we turned it into a black and white clip and then applied a Gaussian blur effect onto the top layer, the black and white clip and cranked up the Gaussian blur effect quite a bit. While increasing the Gaussian blur effect, just make sure you can make out the individual features of the face. Don't increase it too much that it becomes something like this. Just make sure to put a value that's reasonable. For us, 35 looks good. Now all you need to do is change the blend mode of this clip, the black and white and the blurred clip to something like overlay or soft light. In this case, I think overlay looks good. But you can see, obviously this effect is looking too much. So now to tame this effect, we can click on this clip and go to the curve section. Now what we can do is we can just lift up the black point of the black and white layer and decrease the white point and also we can create a middle point to adjust the brightness to our liking. So if we turn off this clip you can see it was looking something like this and if we turn on this clip we get this kind of a effect and you can see this is looking pretty nice. If you want you can decrease the brightness even more all by manipulating the curves of the upper layer. If we turn off the bottom layer, you can see what has happened to the upper clip. Okay. Now if we turn off the curves, it was too much. And with the curves, we have toned down the effect. And when we place it on top of it, you can see we have a 
nice effect. And finally, if you think that your image is looking a bit soft, what you can do is on the bottom layer, you can add an unsharp mask effect. So just type in unsharp mask on your effects library to find out the unsharp mask effect and drag it onto your bottom layer, your original clip. Then just crank up the unsharp mask effect to your liking. Now if you want to see uh, what we have got, then we can create a duplicate layer over here and delete the effects. So this was your original footage and if we turn this off, we have got something like this. Okay, so that was it. So we have seen how easily without using any third party plugins, we can get a pretty decent skin smooth effect all inside Adobe Premiere Pro using the Lumetri color panels. And as I've already said earlier, obviously this is not for professional use, but for YouTube videos like this, you can easily use this one and get pretty decent results. So definitely let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about this method? And also let me know if you know any other better way of getting a skin smooth effect inside Premiere Pro without using any third party plugins. If you want to check out more of my works, then you can follow me on Instagram at shubhadeep.flixcanvas and I would also like to let you know that I'm also working on a series of video editing tutorials for beginners that I'll start uploading soon on my channel and those tutorials are in Hindi. At first I intended to make a single video but I have discussed and explained a lot of concepts of video editing in detail on that video and that's why the video has become quite long almost over one hour so that's why I have decided to break that video uh, into several parts and upload those videos in a single playlist. So if you are interested in those videos definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading those videos pretty soon. So that's it for today guys. I'll see you in the next video.